know this is Artifacts of Mars, and by now, most of you know that Donald Trump has solemnly defeated Hologram Hillary and is now president a lot. Uh, Donald Trump scored a stunning and historic upset that's bullshit. Uh, it wasn't any upset. Victory in the presidential election Wednesday morning once again defying predictions and winning key battleground states captured the White House. Giddy supporters at the New York Hilton were sullen just hours before, erupted in cheers as GOP nominee closed in on victory, chanting, President Trump, drain the swamp and lock her up about Hillary Clinton. Celebrations grew wilder still when TV monitors showed people crying at Clinton's party at Jacob Javits Center. Ed Rollins, who ran Trump's Great America Super PAC, basked in victory. We won the presidency, the Senate, and the House. When was the last time that happened, Rollins told the Post. The polls were bad. Trump is going to be president. He won this thing. He caught the wave of public discontent and wrote it. Washington has to be stunned. Then we're going to look at some of the other reactions here. The uh, Hollywood leftists are going berserk, which is fine. Uh, several celebrities indicate suffering physically physical symptoms. Funny or die comedian and actor Billy Eichner posted Still feeling confident, but about to throw up. What do you do? Stick your tongue, your uh, hand down your throat, finger, whatever. And after between, and Trump has closed the white gap in North Carolina. Another shot, please. Dan Savage commented, I'm going to puke. Later in the evening, he intimidated that death. Would come a sweet relief in the event of a Trump presidency. Oh, don't kill yourself. Come on. I would have gone on if Hillary had won. I wouldn't have liked it, but I would have gone on. Colorado approves assisted suicide. You know about an article from a local Colorado news outlet. That's going to come in handy. These people are nuts. Model Emily... Rada Jowski. Okay, I'm really getting nervous. Well, Chloe Kardashian expressed her view it shouldn't be this close. Singer Mandy Moore was flummoxed. I'm absolutely beside myself right now. I can't believe this, the way this thing has turned around. You should have paid attention. And there's a whole bunch of them. Lacey Rose... Sarah Silverman, you have to understand, most of these people I've never even heard of, uh, so please bear with me. It's just a whole bunch of them here in this article. The elites are going nuts. So Holly Weird is freaking out, which is fine, I'm happy with that. Now for the list of celebrities who, uh, it said they uh, will go if Donald Trump wins. Brian Cranston, never heard of him. So he hopes he doesn't have to pack his bag, but he would definitely move if Trump won. Absolutely, I'll definitely move. The Breaking Bad star said on bestseller experiment podcast. It's not real to me that this would happen. I hope to God it won't. Samuel L. Jackson. Slam Trump for running a hate-filled campaign so they would move to South Africa if he wins. See ya! If that motherfucker becomes president, I'm moving my black ass to South Africa and the movie star quipped to Jimmy Kimmel. Don't let Thor hit you on the way out. Leon Dunham told Andy Cohen at the Matrix Awards that I know a lot of people have been threatening to do this, but I really will. I know a lovely place in Vancouver, the star and creator of HBO's Girls has been a vocal advocate for Hillary Clinton, Dom Democratic nominee. 
See ya! Neve Campbell, an actress in political, on the political drama House of Cards, allowed to move back home to Canada, while orange and black actress Natasha Leon said she would hightail it to a mental hospital. Sheriff says she's headed to Jupiter. Alright, good luck trying to stand on the surface of that planet. Miley Cyrus wrote an emotional Instagram post in March that tears were running down her cheek and she was unbelievably scared and said, I'm moving if he is president. I don't say things I don't mean. Barbara Streisand, who is a dedicated leftist, of course, told 60 Minutes that I'm either coming to your country or if you let me in or Canada. Well, at least I've heard of Barbara Streisand. Most of these people I haven't heard of. Andy Schumer, Spain. Don't show see a hand handlers uh, doesn't say and just goes on and on John Stewart oh that would be a pleasure watching him go he and Rocket going to another plant because clearly his plant's gone bonkers Whoopi Goldberg Uh, Keegan Michael Key on to Canada. God, they're acting. All these people going to Canada, they're acting like, uh, they were, they're acting like the Vietnam protesters did. Alright, I don't want to spend too much time on this, so we're going to move along. Next, Networks Race for... Donald Trump's momentum shocks as his momentum shocks. The uh, TV news people are pissed. They are not happy. After all the effort they uh, went to to uh, get Hillary elected and they just saw it go down in flames. Oh, did Artifacts Mars say TV News wanted to get Hillary elected? That's what I said. Got a problem with that? Of course they did. Charlie Rose, Megan Kelly. <coughs> That's uh, a piggy there. Chris Wallace. They're all, they're all pissed off. They can't handle it. Alright, and here's the dark side. I showed you the funny side, now here's the dark side. We have an insurrection building on the left coast. In Oakland, protesters hit the street after the election. No, they're criminals. I'm sorry, but if Hillary had won, I would have to just live with it. You people on the left can live with it, too. Uh, Donald Trump won. He won by a comfortable margin. That's it. That's all there is to know. You're going to have to live with it. He has a different plan for this country. I supported him right from the beginning. Almost from the day he announced I supported Donald Trump. Well, I would have had to live with it if Hillary won. There's no excuse for this. These are criminals. These are criminals who are going out and raising hell. This is an insurrection. And I'll tell you, Soren Oath is a military, when I went in the military to defend this country from all enemies, foreign and domestic. So did all sorts of guys don't give us the opportunity. That's all I got to say. Let me recap: Donald Trump has won a good, sound victory against Hologram Hillary. It was not close. When I went to bed, uh, he was running 
something like 129 to 97 or something in an electoral votes. And then I get up and I was afraid to look. I was afraid that because uh, the New York Times was saying Hillary had an 80% chance of winning, even though. It looked like he was way ahead, so I got kind of depressed, and I didn't want to deal with it until the radio came on. But Donald Trump has won a good sound victory. Congratulations. And stick to your promises, Donald. Let's get this country straightened out as much as we can. Oh, and I uh, would keep the Senate and the House, too, the Republicans, too. I'm not a Republican. Thank you very much for watching.